Welcome in to Seahawks Today, powered by Chat Sports. Tyler Jones here with you. So glad to have you with us. Coming up on today's show, we'll be talking about Sidney Jones getting cut and not traded. Also, the Seahawks have made a free agent addition to their practice squad. That is Laquan Treadwell. We'll tell you more about him in just a few moments from right now. Before we do, folks, I'm getting so close to 7,000 followers on Twitter. I'll be honest, I'm pretty entertaining on there. Not only talking about your Seahawks and the NFL, but also college football. And I don't always just stick to sports either. We have a good time on that uh, social media platform. So please, help me get to 7,000 followers. And here's what I'll do. For every person that follows me today, I'll follow back because I'm that type of guy. So follow me at Tyler Jones Live. I would certainly appreciate it. We begin today talking about Laquan Treadwell, the former first-round pick has been added to the Seahawks practice squad, the wide receiver out of Ole Miss. And I'll say this much, when it comes to Treadwell, it's a name. It certainly catches everyone's attention, but it's the practice squad. So let's let's not get too excited here for a second. This is a guy that spent some time with Minneapolis, Atlanta, Jacksonville, New England, and Arizona. The numbers aren't great for his career for the former first rounder. 104 catches, 434 yards, just one career touchdown. I mean, let's be honest, he's been a bust, right? I mean, there's no beating around the bush about that, that Treadwell has had a disappointing career. But this is the practice squad. This is where you take chances on things like, you know, like bringing in Treadwell here. This is not something that is earth-shattering, that is going to blow some things up because you're bringing in Treadwell here. You're adding him to the practice squad. This is what the practice squad is for, to give these guys one more shot and see if he has anything left in the ta- on the table. So for me, I'm fine with it. That's what my one word would be, would be fine. That's okay. You know, I mean, this isn't uh, something to get upset about. This isn't something to get too excited about about either. We'll just see what he's got. We already know that the Seahawks have a really good receiving core, plus a really good tight end room as well. And so Treadwell gets a chance now, if there's an injury of some sorts, to see if he can get one of those spots on the 53-man roster when it's all said and done at some point. Look, we already know DK and Tyler Lockett are your one-two punch and have been terrific, obviously. And your tight end room's great. If something happens, we'll see. But right now, Treadwell, mm, I'll I'll, I'll wait. It's fine. But, folks, that is why you subscribe to the channel. Because even practice squad players, we bring you the latest happenings with your favorite team and tell you everything you need to know about all the latest additions. Watch parties. We're going to have a great time on Sunday. I guarantee you that much right now. It is going to be an entertaining time. We do our live shows on Wednesday, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. Breaking news, trades, look, we were waiting. If a trade was going to happen, we were going to be the first to tell you about it. It did not. Even when trades don't happen, we tell you what's going on with your favorite team. If you love the Seahawks, and I know you do, then subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications so you never miss a moment as well. YouTube.com slash Seahawks TV. Do it for me, please. Let's talk about Sidney Jones now. The Seahawks did not trade Sidney Jones, but he's been cut. No longer a member of the Seattle Seahawks. And here's the deal. It was going to be one of two things with Sidney Jones. Either he was going to be traded or he was going to be cut. There is not a roster spot for Sidney Jones at this point. Trey Brown is coming back from injury. The former cornerback out of Oklahoma who finished out 2021 pretty solid. And with the emergence of the young corners – It just didn't make sense. And we've heard from Pete Carroll. Pete even said just a couple days ago, look, Sidney Jones, he's talented enough. He could start for us. There's just nowhere to go for Sidney Jones here. I mean, Tariq Wallen has been awesome. One of the favorites for defensive rookie of the year. Kobe Bryant has played really well as a rookie corner. Mike Jackson earned that starting spot in the offseason with what he did in training camp in the preseason. And you still have Artie Artie Burns and uh, Justin Coleman. So there's just no room for Sidney Jones. Sidney Jones is a fine corner, but there's just no room at this point in time. You have this cornerback room where, you know, Pete Carroll says, look, he can start for us, 
but the Seahawks are committed to the youth movement, and they have these young cats that they're going to move forward with. And you can't blame Pete Carroll at all. I think this was the right decision. It was a hard decision to make, but it was the right decision. The positive note I would say on this, if you're looking for a positive spin, is that Trey Brown must be coming along nicely from this injury. He must be just fine because you do not make this move if there's any slow up on Trey Brown trying to get back healthy and getting back to 100%. To me, this was the right move. Do you agree with that, true or false? Cutting Jones was the right decision. If you agree, type T for true. If not, type F for false. Let me know in the comments section. T for true, F for false, if cutting Jones was the right decision or not. Today's show is presented by our newest partner here at Chat Sports. That is Established Titles, which is a fun and novel way to preserve the natural woodlands of Scotland while helping global reforestation efforts. It is a project based on a historic Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as lairds or lords or ladies in English. Title packets give you at least one square foot of dedicated land with a unique plot number. You can see mine on my screen right now. I am now officially Lord Tyler Jones, and you can be a lord as well. You can be a lord, lady, you can be a laird, whatever you feel like being. And here's the fun part about this as well. You can join me. We can establish our own Seahawks Today kingdom. Look, back in the day, the Seahawks played in the King Dome. Why don't we just go ahead and move our efforts to Scotland and dominate that country with Seahawks Today kingdom? You're going to be a part of it. Your relative's going to be a part of it. Makes for a great holiday gift, whether it's for that crazy uncle, your in-laws, whoever it may be. So here's the deal. The first 200 people... Purchasing a title pack using my link, establishedtitles.com slash chat, are going to be on my plot. They're going to be right there next to me within walking distance. We're going to dominate together, and you can save an extra perfect 10% off for this holiday gift. Let's go to Scotland together. Let's establish some territory right now at establishedtitles.com slash chat. Now, back to Sidney Jones. Doesn't surprise me that no one wanted Sidney Jones because when you just add it up, okay, just think about this for a second, folks. Okay, all the rumors that were out there were that Seattle was probably going to cut Sidney Jones if he wasn't traded. So it's just simple logistics here, okay? It doesn't take a genius to figure it out. If you're a team that was interested in Sidney Jones, why would you trade and give up draft capital when he was about to be released and you could get him for free anyway? That's just how it works. Look, Seahawks haven't needed him that much. He's played in just 45 snaps in the first eight weeks. That's it. He was good last year. Only allowed two touchdowns, 84.3 passer rating. Contract, not that much either. One year, $3.6 million. And I know some Seahawks fans out there are probably sitting to yourself saying, why couldn't we trade it off Sidney Jones? Or why did we not get aggressive and make a move and be buyers? At the end of the day, the Seahawks, they weren't buyers and they weren't sellers either. And for me, quite frankly, that's fine. That's okay. You have a young group, a draft class that was incredible this past year, build with what you got, and you got a lot of picks next year as well. The future is bright in Seattle. This team is really good. They're in playoff contention. It's okay. Trust the process, my friends. Everything's going swimmingly right now. So, should the Seahawks have made a trade? Maybe, but there wasn't much flexibility to work with anyway. They didn't have a whole lot that they could do with their cap situation. So, I understand why they did not make a move. Should Seattle have made a trade? If you think they should have, type Y for yes. If you're like me and are, are saying, you know what, that's fine. Everything worked out, type in for no. Let me know in the comments section. Why for yes, in for no, if the Seahawks should have made a trade. As always, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, at Tyler Jones Live, talking about your Seattle Seahawks on all those social media platforms. Help me get the 7K in followers, and I will see you next time right here on Seahawks Today. Thanks for joining us.